This guy is so freaking good, single-handedly. He does the job of Natasha, everything she does, he does it. And on top of that, he has additional Bailu's entire kit built in him. And on top of that, he has Pella's E-skill built in him, who removes the buff from the enemy. And on top of that, he can also slow enemy like Welt does, if you know how to build him right. So he's personally a freaking combination of four characters. Okay, on top of that, if you have Silver Wolf, his value just doubled. And I will tell you to skip him. They just made like a perfect beast. And reason why I told you that he's even more overpowered if you have Silver Wolf, let me show you. Um, just to, I just want to show you what he's capable of and uh, that is going to be through the help of my this team. Let's say for the time being, I'm going to remove my Ting Yun and I'm going to put Bronya. Okay, let's add Bronya and remove by Lu and I'm going to add Luocha. For the time being, Velt is my Luocha, okay? I have two different characters. I got three different elements. What do you think are the chances of me applying Quantum? Well, it's 100% Quantum because this guy already has Wind of Weakness and he already... Let's finish this. And he already has light weakness, so it's quantum. 100%. Okay? Now, because of Luocha, you have so many more team comps possible. And only because of that reason, I will go and grab this guy. Okay, that's the only reason I'm going to be getting him. So far, I've done like 30 wishes, like exactly 30 wishes on his banner. And I hope I win the 50-50. If I don't, it's fine. I'm absolutely okay with it. If I don't get him, that's absolutely okay for me. But if you don't have Silver Wolf, you just don't have more than half the value this guy has to provide you. Like, you don't have half the value. Because you cannot go and abuse the game that Silver Wolf can go and abuse. And I hope, and I don't even think that you have Sila. If you have Sila, Silver Wolf, this guy is absolutely broken. I mean, like, this guy is not. We're talking about him. Okay? Luocha. And that is the only reason why you want to grab yourself Luocha if you already have Silver Wolf. If you don't have Silver Wolf, his healing is god tier. Yeah, I mean, I got defeated, but it was planned for me to die. Now, the fact that it was almost impossible for all my team to die, that is absolutely crazy. And that is without using any of his skills and burst. If I would have used his burst, uh, nobody would have died. If I keep on attacking the enemies, his field is active. And let's see. All right, they took damage. They healed. Everybody's fully healed. Took damage. Took damage. Okay. He fully healed. He's so freaking overpowered that I just don't have any work to say. Like, they just made like a perfect beast. I told you to skip him. Here's the reason why. He's a five star character. Okay, that's it. <laughs> and you don't need a five star healer. As long as like you kill the enemy, you don't need a five star healer. He's not increasing your damage. I understand most people don't have enough characters in this game. I know most of you are not gonna have Bailu and Natasha for different teams. I get it. I understand this. This is this is way more important. The game is like basically begging you to go and wish because Imagine like we're level 61 so quickly, it literally doesn't make sense. Like we're not supposed to reach the end game in less than two months of a game. Like we're end game now. I have max level characters. Like she's 80, there's no level above this. This is max level. And we're not supposed to reach end game in any game this quickly. It took forever in Genshin Impact to reach this stage where you get to have a max level character and this game is literally end game right now you understand what i'm trying to say the game is literally set up in such a way that you have an urgency to get a character and i will say just wait 10 more days before you wish for luocha okay something nice is gonna happen and you will be content with it before you go and wish for him make sure like you get two five stars from this place or because at, at this stage like even with the worst luck humanly possible like if you have your luck as bad as mine you will get two five star either it is a light cone or a character i hope you get characters because light cones are absolutely garbage you don't need them and i hope you get japard because if you have japard you don't need healer and you don't need a shield character with bailu okay so you just need someone and if you have natasha in a team you don't need shield character she's just fine if you level her up if you level up her traces if you level this one up she's gonna heal pretty good and she's a tank all by herself she never freaking dies like never mind like i don't have any 
Okay, I have some relics on her. I have HP and effect hit rate. Fuck. <laughs> I just hope you wait some time before you go and wish for him because he's really good. Like he's overpowered and you don't need such an overpowered healer. Okay, because at the end of the day, he cannot revive your team. And about breaking shields, I mean, yeah, it's fine. Like this game is like based on having more characters. If you don't have more characters, you're stuck in the game. You will be held back by a lot of things. And what are you going to accomplish by finishing this game in two days? How about you relax and enjoy the game, enjoy the scenery. I mean, that's not a scenery, but hey, we have such a nice story missions. You know, how about you go and do that instead of fishing for characters? Oh, what the hell? It's giving 100? Okay, that means like one extra wish for me, boy. That's, that's a lot of wishes. Enjoy the game. You don't. You really don't want to get him just just yet. Okay, get him after 10 days. I will be going to do his quest now because I'm... Tomorrow, tomorrow, I promise.